Well, uh, besides being a family man, I'm, uh, I have deep roots in uh, music. Uh, born and raised in the church, Baptist Church of Detroit. Uh, my grandfather, Pastor Murphy Sr. Um, uh, music has very much so been a part of my life, and uh, it's like I'm genetically built of music, you know. And uh, the, the message that it carries, the, the positive messages, the, the, its abilities to uplift the people. Um, I'm very passionate about people and uh, helping others to obviously realize their dreams with uh, what we're doing here now. And um, I'm just looking to go forward uh, in, in that vision. I, the, the song actually started uh, from a trip to Hitsville. Um, I was in college at the time, and uh, Wayne State University, you know, I got, got a chance to drive around in Midtown. And one particular day, I, I, saw, a, I, I saw a man laying in the street, and it, it just really touched me. It made me want to do something about it. So I said, hey, I need to motivate myself. I'm going to go to Hitsville. Um, went to Hitsville. I was very inspired by the, uh, the, the, the passion. I mean, when you walk in that place, it's like, I don't have any hair on my head, but it was standing up. You know? <laughs> um, I, I was, it, it ignited a fire in me. Um, we had a studio on Six Mile. Uh, and I went to Six Mile to the studio, and the, the music just started bleeding out, you know. Mm -hmm. um, my, my cousin here came in later. He would always come in on my tracks and just start writing lyrics. And just out of nowhere, you know, we, we started sharing our, our passions about, you know, the city of Detroit and how we want to see it prosper and the people prosper. And that's where you get, the, that's where you get the song, Turn It Around. And that's where it came from. In my own words, what we're trying to say to th it, through this song is whatever you think your surroundings are going to reflect that. So it's saying every man, woman, boy, and girl, let's change the world. The, 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 the first thing you need to do to, to change yourself is obviously, like Michael Jackson said, he said, you got to take a look in the mirror. Absolutely. And you have to, you have to realize your, your own flaws and your inner capabilities that, are, that, are, that God built in you. Mm -hmm. And once you realize that, you're enable to make a change Absolutely. outside of yourself for other people, the communities. So with this song, we're, we're attempting to let the people of Detroit know, and, even, and beyond Detroit, other, other broken cities, other broken societies across the world, that we can make a change. We can really do this thing, that we can come together as, as a people, as a, as a human race, and we can prosper together. The history books uh, in, in, in any music school that you attend will tell you that music is an imposer of will. And music is what man uses to impose his will upon the universe. So a lot of the things that you see happening in our communities with our youth, um, and, and even even uh, uh, times, you know, be, before, before the times that we live in now with, with uh, uh, older generations, uh, and we see the generations change, and we ask ourselves, well, what, what, what happened? The music changed. The music changed. Yes. Yep. And you hear a lot of older, older generations, like people like our mothers and our fathers, they say, you know, it's just, the music is just not the same. You want to know why the world isn't the same, why the world isn't better? It's because the music isn't saying anything. There's a lot of good music out there, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But the predominant sound is not beneficial for the psyche of the human race. Um, the songwriter said, uh, melt the clouds of sin and, and sadness, drive the dark of doubt away. That's my dream, that's my vision for Detroit.